Hey folks, welcome back to Wooden Tool Man's channel. Welcome back to my shop. So, probably a lot of you guys have been, uh, you know, dreaming about building drum sanders, and I have too. I've got a big one, but I know how, uh, I know, to be quite honest with you folks, you guys have fun watching my videos. I have a lot of fun making them, and I have a lot of fun just making these machines. Uh, it's kind of like my fishing, you know. I like to go and, uh, and play around making machines. So, um, if you've been watching my channel, uh, then you'll know that I try to keep my machines very simple and very easy to get the parts to make. You know, we don't want to have something that's going to be crazy to get the parts for or complicated to build. So, one of the things that uh, always uh, kind of scared me off from building one was the feed deck. You know, you need a, a decent belt uh, to be able to run the feed deck on, but... You know, these are hard to get, you, and you could use, I see a lot of guys on there, they use uh, big wide sanding belts, you know, but I can't imagine them are cheap, and I know they're definitely not easy to get, but one of the things that is easy to get, and I think anybody in the world can get it, is duct tape. So, what I played around with this morning, and this was just done with just within a few minutes here, uh, is I made a belt using duct tape, and the way I did it was, is I took a piece of 5 8 board, I clamped it to the side of my bench, and the first round... I went backwards with my tape so that it was smooth side and the sticky side was up. Once you get it started, it'll just keep sticking on itself. So I went around the first time so that it was uh, the non-sticky side toward the board. And then the second time around, I reversed the tape and put sticky side to sticky side. So this is what I ended up with. Now, this is just a quick test piece is what it was. So you can see I've got a crease here where uh, it was around the board. So the next time, the way that I do this or the way that I'm going to do it, is I'm going to put probably three or four layers of melamine or MDF or something, and I'll round the corners over nice and round, so that when I go around, it'll be a nice transition, and then this'll, you know, then it'll be a nice smooth belt. So, um, so many of you guys haven't seen, uh, you know, most people have seen the show Mythbusters, and a few years ago, these fellows actually lifted a car using just duct tape. They, you know, figured out that each strand would hold so much weight, and uh, they actually just lifted, they lifted a car using duct tape. They just run it down to the car to a beam and lifted it. And it was incredible. It's incredible how strong this stuff is. I know that I probably got about, there's probably about 10 layers uh, just in this, you know, to hold this belt together. And I'll tell you, like, I can't even stretch it using a bar. Like, I, I, when I first got this made, it was on a board like this and it was really tight. So... What I did was is I stuck a clamp. I could get my one of my bar clamps in between, and I actually pried up on this thing, and it didn't even stretch it enough that I could slide it off. The only way I got it off was actually to break the block in half. So uh, there's going to be no problem with it being strong enough. The only problem we might have is it not being grippy enough. But what I found was is I've got this spray adhesive. It's just a you know it's just a spray adhesive. And what I plan on doing, and what you guys could do, is everybody can usually get a hold of some contact cement too. So what I'm probably going to do is maybe rough this up with a little bit of sandpaper, and and then maybe put some contact cement and then sprinkle something on it, like some sawdust, or it's not some sawdust, some, uh, you know, just about anything. Real fine sand would work, or, you know, just by roughing this up with a little bit of sandpaper may make it grippy enough, because I've got a production sander, uh, here and the belt on it is it, it's not grippy like sandpaper it's kind of like a smooth hard plastic and you know very similar to this now if we did rough this up a bit I'm sure that this would drag something through a production sander so just a quick experiment I'm, I'm, I'm definitely probably going to hear from red green on this one <laughs> would be surprised we see a little comment from red green way to go using duct tape but you know what we'll use whatever we can get our paws on and imagine if we could build a drum sander just with a few bolts and uh, a roll of duct tape and uh, and a little bit of plywood or melamine or mdf or something and have something that works good that's the aim of this uh, little venture so if you guys like that idea if you guys want to see me build a little drum sander something that would be easy for you guys to build then leave me lots of thumbs up and leave me lots of comments and we'll build one for you so hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos and we'll see you next time